Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to set up your Corel Color Management for the Chromoblast or Easy Transfer option in MultiRip Hybrid Direct to Garment RIP software. The first thing you want to do is you want to have your Corel open. The process is pretty similar for Corel 11 and 12 as it will be for 13 and 14, although the screens might look slightly different. The first thing you want to do is have your Corel open and have a graphic in it. The graphic we have in here is actually our 510 color chart that we use for testing colors to determine which colors are available to print. This color chart is free and downloadable from the Multi-RIP Frequently Asked Questions page. It also comes with a corresponding color palette that matches the X and Y coordinates of the color chart. So once we have that set up, we're going to go up to the top, click on Tools, and come down to Color Management. It might take a minute for your Color Management window to come open. Typically the way most Color Managements come and start off in the default looks something similar like this. We're going to create our own Color Management, however. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start off by double clicking on the three circles in the dead center and changing your rendering intent to perceptual. Corel has it set up for automatic which uses different rendering intents for a vector object compared to a raster graphic. We're just going to run it with perceptual on both of them and you can leave the color engine set to Kodak Digital Science. From there you then can turn around and start to choose your RGBs that you want to use because that's ultimately what we're going to print in. It's defaulted to generic internal RGB. It's completely up to you which ones you'd like to do. For the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to use internal RGB NTSC 1953. This is going to be the core portion that it'll start to read from. Now I also want to set up some rules as to things that come for the importing and the exporting of my graphics. So I'll highlight both of those two arrows to turn them on and then just double click on the three pieces of paper. It'll open it up and now I'm going to have it use an embedded ICC profile or I can select what the embedded profile is down here by always converting it to it. And that's what you're going to want to do. Just make sure whatever you use in these drop down boxes is going to be what we use for the rest of this settings as well, including the drop down here. The next thing that we'll do is we will go down to the generic CMYK profile. In here you'll notice that there are some defaulted ones coming through, but the one we're going to look for is going to be the multi-rip chromoblast one, which currently in the way this setup is done is not showing up. And I haven't done that specifically to show you where you can pull it in if it doesn't show up during the install process of your computer. First thing you do is you go to Get Profile from Disk. A window will open up, and underneath this window, you want to follow the path that goes from your computer to your C drive. From the C drive, it'll then go into the multi-rip folder, and in the multi-rip folder, down to the ICC folder. Just have that folder highlighted and click OK. It will then bring up a new window and what you're going to want to do is scroll through the manufacturers list until you come down to see where it says multi-rip. When you click on multi-rip you'll see where it says easy transfer, chromo blast, and then enhance. That's the profile we're going to hard code and overwrite for the Corel color management. So we'll just go ahead and click OK it's now going to ask us if we want to replace an existing one. If there's one already in there, just go ahead and click yes. Now it'll show up in our drop down boxes, which we can set for both our desktop and our offset printers. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now that we have both of those selected, the one other thing we're going to do is we're going to override Corel's color management. All you have to do is double click on the output device and you're going to scroll down. We're going to look for the multi-rip, stylish pro, or the easy transfer, depending on which one you have. In this case, I'm going to set up the 4800 easy transfer. I'm going to pull the drop down box down and now I'm going to scroll through this list and I should be able to find toward the bottom 
the multi-rip easy transfer Chrome OS Enhance is now installed. If you do not do the previous step where we went and we found it in the ICC folder, you will not find it in this drop down box. So now we'll go ahead and hit OK. The final thing that we can do is I typically do not have success with this arrow being lit up. So what I will do is come over and light up the monitor and have the monitor profile match what I've been using for all of the other ones. The final thing we'll do is click on the color mode and change it to our RGB. You might want to test these settings out first to see if they work the best depending on you might want to change between NTSC to another RGB source profile. Adobe RGB, Frasier RGB, Color Match RGB, NTSC 1953 are just several of the ones that are typically used. Once you have the setting that you want, click on the plus sign. It'll bring this up and you can type in whatever you'd like to name it. So I'm going to name this one MR Chroma Blast Easy Transfer. And then hit OK. It now shows up in the drop down box so it's quick and easy select. So if I come back in, I have my color management turned off. All I have to do is come down to the drop down box, click on the MR, and it automatically changes all my settings. Now that I have that set up, when I go to print, I'm going to see that that multi-rip chromoblast profile is actually going to show up in my print dialog window for Corel. And now we'll go and test that by going up, click on file. We're going to go down to print. In the print, the first thing we'll do is we will pull our drop down box to look at, well actually this just brought up our print preview, which we don't need, so we'll close that, pull our drop down box on the name and bring up the multi-rip 4800 easy transfer. Once that comes in, if you click on the miscellaneous tab, you'll notice that it's applying our profile that we hard coded to it. And the one other thing we'll do is we'll change our output color bitmaps as and make it an RGB. We can go back to the general tab, click on the properties link. This will bring up our standard uh, process for printing to the rip. Click on advance. The one last thing that I need to do besides set my page setting is change my RGB source profile to the NTSC 1953. Now all of them use the same source profile. Whether I bring a graphic in to Corel, it's going to convert it to the NTSC. On my color engines using the NTSC, I'm hard coding the profile specifically for Chroma Blast and overwriting anything that um, Corel is going to do to the color that allows us to overwrite, although it still does manipulate color. And all we have to do then is just turn around and send the job to the printer. That's all it takes to set in your, your Chroma Blast color management settings in Corel when using the Easy Transfer. If you have any questions, please contact your distributor. Thank you.